This is a little comparison I wanted to do between the Surfern SC31T and the Workos FC12. And the Workos FC12 was the first tactical flashlight that I had owned, and I love this thing still. It is great value. It's slim, easy to fit in your bag. Um, it throws incredibly far. And it's affordable, and it's just so easy to use. And the Sofon SC31T pretty much has all of those features, but it comes in a slightly small package. Now, it's not just that. There are some also some other differences which I'll go through, just talk about. And you can already see them. Obviously, with the design, there's some you know, a little bit of a different design. Some of you may prefer a more aggressive knurling like that. So if I go with a classic kind of style, okay? And the clip is also a simple one-way clip. You get a double-sided clip here with the FC12. But I'd say the biggest difference is the reflector and the LED. So the FC12 has an SFT40, which is de-domed version of the SST40. It throws further and um, just has a lot more oomph to it compared to the SST40, which produces more light, a little bit more light, but it's more more on the floody sort of side of things. So with the uh, with the FC12, you're going to get over 300 meters of throw, whereas with the SST40 in the SC31T, you're going to get about 250 plus meters of throw. Um, it's also got a deeper reflector in the FC12, so that's where that extra throw figure comes from as well. But uh, yeah, it is a little bit longer, but um, for me, when I'm carrying both of these around in my pocket, I really can't tell the difference between either of them, but this one's probably going to be a little bit more comfortable due to the size. Um, both of them have tactical tail switches on the back, which allow access to 100% uh, mode or turbo, but you do have to, the trick is I, I put it into the smooth ramping mode, click and hold until it blinks um, where it activates the FET driver, and then you can activate turbo just through a half press of the tail switch. So I'd recommend the SC31T if you're looking for a smaller tactile flashlight that has a larger hotspot, lots of light, lots of flood, Okay, the beam profile is very wide on the SC31T, so it's I'd say it's more of a practical beam. But um, the FC12 has the superior throw, and but again, you're sacrificing that flood, so you have a very kind of narrow uh, beam profile, and you don't get all that much flood around your feet. I mean, you don't get any flood around your feet at all, but the SC31T um has you know illuminates more of your peripherals you've got a large hot spot as well a bit of additional light so check out the beam shots we'll skip to them now and i'll just show you how they both perform side by side workers fc12 to the sofern sc31t and this is the fc12 okay and we've got the sc31t here so right off the bat you can see the Workos FC12, it throws significantly further. I mean, it has that deeper, um, deeper reflector, of course, smaller hotspot, um, kind of a slightly ringy beam, but that's what you get with these deeper reflectors. You do get a lot more throw. There's not, the spill, as you can see, is confined to an area uh, a smaller area compared to the SC31T, which um, the, if you look at the spill, it goes much further down, covers the entire camera frame, okay? But uh, in terms of overall output, in terms of overall output, it's hard to, hard to say. I'd say they're both making similar amounts of light. And uh, because these have FET drivers in them, they're going to be limited by the battery that you put in them, the stock battery, which I have basically the stock cells in them at the moment. Um, the FC12, look at that, just in, so impressive. It's one of the, I think, one of the best budget tactical flashlights you can you can get out there. I mean, look at that. Look at that throw. Such a small light as well. The SC31T, you've got um, 
We've just got much larger hotspots. So, some of you might prefer having a larger hotspot and more spill. Um, a lot of people prefer this sort of beam, it's more practical. Okay, but for in terms of high candela and um, just a more intense hotspot, you can't can't go past the SFT40 and the FC12. I'm gonna leave these both on for a little bit. Let's see what happens. I want to see what the behavior is, where the one's gonna start uh, stepping down more and uh, maybe produce less light. Okay, FC12, SC31T, FC12, SC31T. Impressive sustained performance and output considering how small these lights are Okay, they are starting to step down now. Yep. Look at that FC 12 And the SC 31 T and this is interesting because look at that the SC 31 T Is now outperforming the FC 12 that's the FC 12 SC 31 T okay, so you're getting way more throw and output out of that SC31T. Looks like the FC12 is stepping down faster. But let's just see how, when, um, when the SC31T will step down, or if it does step down further than this, pretty sure it will. Uh, both of them feel pretty, pretty fine, like they don't feel hot, just kind of warm. I'm holding it around the top of the battery tube, just under the head. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's interesting now. Look, the, the FC12 looks like it's kind of started to ramp up or go up again. So the temperature regulation is sort of uh, picking up that it's cooled down, and now it's it's now it's beating the SC31T. Be very interesting. And now it's producing, I believe it's producing more light. It's definitely producing more light than the SC31T here. The FC12. I haven't touched these, I haven't. Just letting them run their course. So. Yeah, some interesting kind of regulation patterns. The SC31 has just stepped down. Okay, but again, yeah, both of these are fantastic tactical lights. Um, both relatively high candela, but you know, the FC12 is obviously going to give you more range, less spill. It's always a trade off with these lights, They're both excellent value. Okay, turn them both off again and on. Let's see, there we go, and we got turbo again. So, yeah, you can just keep reactivating turbo. Of course it will step down almost immediately but you'll get a few seconds 10 seconds maybe of decent runtime uh, on that turbo mode okay 